What's happening, Bristol Central High School? David Flood here, coming back to you with a little reminder message. I know what you're thinking, reminder of what, Mr. Flood? Maybe like five of you remember me. I was there a couple of weeks ago. I gave an assembly. I'm kidding. Maybe six of you remember. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Maybe you don't remember me, but you remember something Something I said. Some guy with, you know, slick back hair um, came in and said some cool stuff to us. I hope, to, I hope I connected with some of you. But I wanted to remind you, well, first of all, say thank you for the way that you treated me when I was there. I've been to Bristol twice now, to that to, to your school twice. And, and um, you know, the staff there is tremendous. Mr. Winninger's got an awesome staff, and they always treat me well, as do the students uh, when, I was la when I was there two years ago for the juniors and seniors, um, like I was for you guys this year. So thank you for that. And the three challenges that I gave you to look on the inside of people. Seniors, I know you're going off to college, and you're going to run into some, you know, a lot of different people. A lot of different people out in the world once you get out of high school. So always look on the inside of people. Reach out and say thank you to two adults in your building before you leave, before you graduate. You know, seniors, as far as I'm concerned, you, you a great idea for you would be to take a half a day before the last day of school and literally walk around the building and just say thank you to everybody in the building. Who You know, anybody, maybe people you've ever even spoken to in the four years you've been there. But from the principal to the nurse, to the secretaries, to the custodian, to the counselors, to the bus drivers, to the crossing guard, to the lunch ladies, or whoever cooks your lunch, you know, or serves your lunch, um, anybody and everybody in that school. That's what I would do if I was a senior, you know, show gratitude um, and let it be a place you'd, you'd go back to. Because I know, you know, Bristol's not a big town and, you know, maybe you want it. You, of course, you're going to check in there after you're back in college, hopefully anyway. Um, and the third challenge was, you know, for no one to eat alone which is so important. You're going to see people, you know, when you go out into the world, you're going to see people who are uh, who are alone and can use some companionship. So I hope you even take that challenge with you. And juniors, by all means, when you become a senior next year, become a leader in the school and, um, you know, model behavior for the underclassmen. You know, look for opportunities when you can include someone who's unincluded. And seniors, uh, juniors, I know you had your prom, but seniors, please be safe at your prom. And I'm not, it's not even a problem that I worry about. It's really the after parties and the after things. And then over the summer when you kind of, you know, get off the rails and you're all excited going away to college. So just think, you know, before you uh, make decisions and maybe discuss decisions with people um, who are important to you before you make them. Um, it's always good to think about something before you do it and not do it. You know, spont spontaneity is a good thing, but not with everything. So just think. And be careful. Have an awesome prom and have an awesome graduation. I am grateful for the time that I spent there. And I hope you guys all have an awesome summer. Have a great day.